ignoring you and looking no. at the papers, you know, honestly. That's but, the reason for this. yes, because it's not often really that all our newspaper front pages feature exactly the same story. Yeah, but um, today is no surprise, really, given the scale of the flooding in the home counties and the West Country. Uh, obviously, some really, really dramatic pictures in the papers today. Yeah, of course, these Midlands isn't immune from flooding, we know that. In some Nottinghamshire villages, they've been flooded, well, three times in the last seven years. But in one of them, a young entrepreneur determined not to let water pour through his home again has started importing instant flood defences. James Robeson has more. In this morning's pouring rain in Woodborough, Simon Crowther and I bring out two more roll-up flood barriers to join the one already there. So it's quite simple, really. It uses the force of the water to hold it back. Simon found these Canadian-designed water gates after flash floods in 2007 devastated dozens of homes and businesses in Woodborough. It went into the shop and it was it basically covered the bottom, bottom half of the shop. The Crowther home was just as bad, if not worse. We filmed Simon's family mopping up after the water went down, but that was just the beginning. We were out of the house for nearly a year and it was such an upheaval and uh, so much stress that we just thought you don't want to go through that process again. Uh, we scoured the market for things looking to defend it. I came across this product in Canada and it just sat in the garage and used for five years. We then used it in 2012 and it worked so well. Everyone was saying to us, that's brilliant, can you get us one? Simon, then 18, became the UK's sole importer of the Watergate system. They can be easily carried and unrolled in minutes, stretching hundreds of yards. The water itself raises the barrier as the level rises. The barriers can be up to six feet high. They proved a hit in Woodborough. So since the uh, properties in the village have had these barriers, none of them have actually flooded. They've all been protected. The village has flooded, but the six properties that have got the water gates have all been fine, protected and dry. I feel much more reassured because once the barrier's in place, we know that we're safe. So um, it's much easier to sleep at night. As council workmen cleared Woodborough's culverts this afternoon, Simon's devices are also now protecting substations by the Thames, but his MP wants them even more widely used. I'd be very interested to hear from him if his uh, constituent solution is portable and easy to move around as empty sandbags are. We can get them fairly quickly into the UK and it's just so much easier to deploy than the sandbags. I mean, they've got the army there and it's taking them all day to do the same job I could probably do on my own in five or ten minutes. James Robeson, BBC East Midlands today, Nottinghamshire.